Good morning, Globe Hoppers. That was a rather bumpy and noisy ferry ride. But this morning we are in the Mediterranean Sea and we've just arrived at our 37th country. So today we're going to take you guys on a little tour of Monaco. Can you believe it? We made it here. And uh, God willing, the weather will hold out because it's starting to look a little bit cloudy behind us. We felt a few sprinkles, nothing too bad though. So we're going to try to keep our fingers crossed and hopefully we'll make it through the tour with you guys today. Let's go see what Monaco has to offer. Thank you, buddy. It's only the first of everything. A little bit of construction going on here. Look at all these. Cranes. Right behind us, that is the Prince's Palace up there. And there is no flag, but we can't remember if that means if he's home or not home. So we'll go knock and see what he says. We should probably go up these escalators. Okay. How's that for a unique looking McDonald's? No golden arches, no nothing. So we considered spending the night here in Monaco, but our budgets had other ideas. So we decided it would be much more affordable to stay over in Nice and just take the ferry over each day for day trips. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to explore by day and head home tonight. We hear a lot of animals and she just found that there's like a little zoo back there. We saw chickens and I don't know some other stuff. But we're not, I don't think we're going to go in the zoo though. It's pretty tiny looking. This is definitely a playground for the rich and famous, or at least the rich. <laughs> All right guys, so we made it to our first stop of the day. We actually just walked from one end of Monaco to the other. And this is our first stop. It's a Japanese garden. Look, it's pretty nice looking. I see him. I'm gonna go across the little bridge. Hello little ducks.
There's some toy in there. Look at him. Let's see if we can't see him from above. We have been to a lot of Japanese gardens and this one is pretty nice except for the fact that there is no tranquility here. It's kind of a feature that you expect at Japanese gardens. And that seems to be the theme for Monaco so far. It is a very busy, congested, crowded little city and oh my god there's so much construction going on everywhere you look. They're building some sort of hotel or high rise or resort or something everywhere. There's cranes you can't, everywhere you look behind me, you can see there's just cranes everywhere. It's really hard to take a picture and not get a crane in the picture. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not what I expected of this place, that's for sure. I, I expected a little more glitz and a little less this. But hey, we just got here, we're just getting started. And let's go see what else is in this garden. This really is one of the nicer Japanese gardens that we've been to, but it's just a shame it's in the middle of all this noise and clinking and clanking. Otherwise, I think it would probably be one of my favorites. It's really, really nicely set up. Alright, that was the Japanese garden for you. I'm of two minds about this place. If you guys have followed the channel, you know I love everything Jap Japan and Japanese. It's one of my favorite countries in the world. And I gotta admit, this is a really nice garden. I really did think that was well done. Just to put it here in the middle of all this noise and chaos is just crazy though. It took away from a lot of its, you know, bang that you get. But, it was free. It was free, and we like that, especially here in this country. <laughs> You ain't special enough. <laughs> what is this thing? Everything's upside down. All right, we found the spot. It's actually a pretty good little. Yeah. I'm looking. Calm down. there plus if you want to go into the actual casino part of the casino you have to pay to get into the casino part so we just took you for that little spin around inside there and now we're heading to our next stop oh I hear the roar of a Ferrari another one has arrived This is another one of the stops on our list today that Google says is a must do here in Monaco. Picture of William Grover, I mean, sorry, a statue of William Grover from the Grand Prix. Nineteen twenty nine. Alright guys, so along the way to our next stop, we just stumbled across Monaco's national dish it's a snack it's a pastry we're not sure what's in it yet we got two of them and we're going to give it a little taste test for you right now there's what it looks like it's cold i don't it's cold i don't know if it's supposed to be served hot or cold but try it spinach yeah spinach and cheese so it's a pastry stuffed with spinach and cheese and it's got good flavor look at that 
I actually like it. It's pretty good. So they have a day that they actually only eat this. They American all holiday. <laughs> yeah, uh, November nineteenth, I believe it is. All right, that's two thumbs up for us. Our walk along the promenade in yesterday's video in Nice was cut short because they were having a triathlon and our walk along the promenade here where the marina is was cut short because they're setting up for some horse show that they're going to be doing for the next two weeks. They got the stables lined up along there. They're setting them all up now. So the views from there were not too wonderful. We're going to go to a viewpoint now which we should get some really good views from up there. They love their Grand Prix statues here. lookout point we just showed you the pictures of and behind us here is the castle the palace where the Prince of Monaco lives and we see the flag is up now so I guess he's home finally he must have been out for breakfast this morning when we got here we're gonna take a little stroll around the grounds here see what his backyard looks like Bench right there. Alright guys, so we just stuffed ourselves at the Monaco McDonald's and yes, we do enjoy going to McDonald's even in a city like this. So the world tour did continue. I'll put that all about that in my blog on the website because I have a whole bunch to say about the Europe McDonald's and where we can and couldn't get it here. For now though, I think we're going to wrap up our video. I wasn't overly impressed with Monaco. It's never going to make my list of my top 10 countries, but it is worth a stop. Especially if you own a yacht and you want to come park for a few days and have a good time being your kind of place a lot of shopping and stuff like that to me it was just more crowded and more congested than I thought but definitely nice clean good atmosphere you know good vibe so that's it for today we're gonna wrap it up here if you enjoyed the video give it a like don't forget to share and comment and we'll see you next time Even the train station here is all shiny and snazzy in Monaco.